Great to be joined here by Abby De La Rosa. And Abby, thanks for stopping by. How you doing? Good. Thanks for having me. Hey, you know, we just came off of uh, another weekend. Nice to be back at home. How'd you feel Saturday? You know, you guys didn't get the result you wanted, but you played really hard. It was a 1-1, 2-1 game. You kept it real tight into the third. How'd you guys feel you guys played Saturday against Minnesota? Um, I think we just reflected on Friday's game, you know, watched our video. And there's a lot of teaching clips that we walked through. And so Saturday, we're kind of ready for them. And then just like, having the TV timeout breaks, and, like every five minutes, you know, stop and recollecting and regrouping ourselves before going back out there. How weird is it to think too, you're a senior, has that sunk in yet that all of your years have flown by and you're down to your last year? It goes by so fast and people always say, you know, it's going to go by fast, but you don't know until you're actually playing and it's just crazy how fast the four years have gone. You know, when you think ahead of kind of these next few months, I mean, what are you kind of hoping to get out of the last few years, you know, few months of your career here? Um, I think just enjoying it, taking it game by game, you know, showing up, working hard at practice, having fun in the weight room, and really just like enjoying the last few games that I have. You know, we're out here on Sanford Center. How cool is it to be calling this your home rink? It's such a great venue to play at. Yeah, it's a great rink. You know, we get a lot of people from the community that come here and watch our games, and then just having the men's team and they're here playing kind of just creates a good culture between us. Let's say how much camaraderie do you have, you know, having the team here at Chao Nice is to also have the men's team here and you guys are, you know, pushing towards the same goal. We both want success, you know, we're both supportive with each other and their fans come to our games and we have fans that go to their games and just like trying to support each other when we can. I know we don't get many games where we're home, but when we are home, usually, you know, they're taping their sticks watching our game and then after our game, we'll watch theirs. How much does it help for you, you know, kind of going behind the reason you chose to come to Bemidji? You're not too far from home. Was that a big driving force for you to choose to come play here? I'd say that was a factor. I wanted to play in the WCHA where my parents can come watch me play. It's not too far from home, and I'd say it's kind of like my home, similar with the lakes and stuff, and just being a smaller school. And like we talked about the other day, you know, you get to see a lot of those teams growing up. You played with a lot of those players. How neat is it to see some of those players that you kind of grew up, you know, playing camps? I mean, I played with a lot of the girls that are in this league. A lot of the WCHA are pretty much city girls, so just playing with them in the summer and spring, you kind of just know like who they are as a player and how they play. So it's been fun watching them and like playing against them too, you know. You'll line up on the face off and kind of just small talks with them. You know, and you for the sport of hockey, what kind of got you into it growing up and then specifically to play defense because that's not always the spot somebody always gravitates yeah. to, but how much do you enjoy playing D back there too? Um, D's fun, you know, both my brothers played growing up, so I kind of just wanted to do what they're doing, you know, follow their shoes, but it's fun. How do you like being that last line of defense too? You know, you're always right back there with you and the goalie. I mean, how much kind of camaraderie do you have with your other line mate plus the, the goalie knowing that you guys are the last two, three back there? It can be scary, a lot of pressure being the last two. You know that if you make a mistake, it's highlighted rather than the forwards, you know, it's just more highlighted there. And I think just, you know, working together, working with your goalie, talking with your D on and off the ice helps a lot. All right, Abby, well, we really appreciate you stopping by. It was great catching up with you. Good luck awesome. the rest thanks of the season, and we'll me. see you again here soon. Yep, thanks for having me.